Why are pulled down eyelids so common after eye bag surgery? Cosmetic eyelid surgery consistently ranks in the top five most commonly performed cosmetic surgeries every year. Lower eyelid surgery for under eye bags caused by prolapsed orbital fat affects a wide range of people of all ages. Puffiness under the eyes is typically caused by genetics as well as by aging. As an example of the genetic aspect of under eye bags, I've personally treated three generations in the same family. With so many people wanting to have this procedure, the laws of supply and demand result in more surgeons being willing to perform lower eyelid surgery. In spite of patients seeking board certified plastic surgeons or other types of surgeons, there are many people who end up having their eyes pulled downward after cosmetic eyelid surgery. I'll discuss the reasons why the eyelids that are pulled down or retracted after eyelid surgery, why this occurs, and how I avoid this issue when I perform surgery for under eye bags in my patients. I'm Dr. Amiya Prasad. I'm a diplomate of the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery and a fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in New York City and Long Island for over 25 years. As a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon, I specialize in a range of cosmetic eyelid surgeries such as under eye bags, surgery for hooded upper eyelids, as well as eyelid procedures typically not performed by general plastic surgeons, such as lacrimal gland prolapse repair and eyelid ptosis repair. I often perform revision eyelid surgeries to address surgical complications originally performed by other doctors. This includes lower eyelid retraction, as well as ectropion. In my opinion, the most common reason for eyelids being pulled down after cosmetic eyelid surgery is in the way most surgeons perform lower eyelid surgery. The most commonly performed technique is called a transcutaneous blepharoplasty. This surgical technique involves making an incision along the lower eyelid skin, usually right below the eyelashes, in order to access the prolapsed orbital fat pockets that cause under eye bags so they can be sculpted and removed. This approach can compromise the orbicularis oculi muscle as well as the lateral canthal tendon, which are very important for lower eyelid support. Loss of the integrity of these supporting structures can cause the lower eyelid to collapse, leading to rounding of the eyes known as lower eyelid retraction. In addition, the lower eyelids can evert outward in a condition called ectropion. I perform lower eyelid surgery in my practice using a transconjunctival approach. Transconjunctival blepharoplasty involves no external incision, allowing me to preserve the integrity of the eyelid support structures. This method is considered a technically advanced procedure and allows my patients to preserve the natural shape and character of their eyes. In addition, since there is no external incision, there's no chance for a visible scar on the lower eyelid that would signal that the, the person had undergone eyelid surgery. Another contributing factor to eyelid retraction and ectropion is the routine removal of skin as a approach to addressing skin wrinkling. Surgeons will often mistakenly think that under eye wrinkles are due to redundant lower eyelid skin, 
just as hooded upper eyelids are due to stretched upper eyelid skin. In my experience, wrinkles under the eyes are more due to diminished skin quality, not excessive skin quantity. When a surgeon excises lower eyelid skin, it can lead to a skin shortage, resulting in the lower eyelids rounding or retracting. I routinely address eyelid skin wrinkling with lasers such as the fractional CO2 laser and fractional erbium laser, as well as radiofrequency thermal energy devices. I like to enhance the benefits of laser and radiofrequency treatment with PRP or platelet-rich plasma. Platelet-rich plasma is a concentration of the wound healing and growth factors in your blood that results in stimulation of collagen production and thereby improves skin quality. As a specialist, I understand that general plastic surgeons and other non-specialized surgeons typically perform lower eyelid surgery as a relatively small percentage of their overall practice, which typically is more focused on very popular body procedures, such as liposuction and tummy tucks. As a specialist with an ophthalmology background, I can't overstate the importance of having eyelids that look good and function well. Preserving the characteristic shape of your eyes and having the lower eyelids work to protect your eyes is critical to your eye health and your appearance. I hope you found this information from my experience helpful. If you're interested in recommendations for your individual situation, you may contact us through our websites or call our offices to schedule a consultation. Thank you.